Hi, Paula here from My Whimsical Little World, and today I want to share with you uh, my Halloween album. I finally completed it. I just finished it today, and it only took me a little bit over three weeks to create it. And as you can see, it doesn't quite lay flat because I got carried away and just had at it. You know me. I just, when the hamsters, they go crazy, they go crazy. So, um... And so what I did was is I tied it with a ribbon here just so that it could expand a little bit more and, and for when you want to put some more things into it. Okay, so I'm going to take you and walk you through my book. Now, this book I had help with uh, making the cover with my, my husband helped me. And um, I had seen Heidi Swap. She created something, I think, similar to this. It was like the hidden, you hide the coil. Um, and I was not able to because they don't give you the instructions on how to do it so um, I didn't want to make anything that big you know me I like to make things mini so I just um, I looked at one of my books that I had because Heidi Swap had mentioned something about her recipe books and I don't have any recipe books anymore but what I did have is I had I have my wishes book and my wishes book is like a recipe book the cover anyways um, the way that it's made so I just used that as my um, go to this is how I wanted to create my album and what I wanted to do was I wanted to have the traditional album with the back cover and I didn't want the coils exposed but of course you have to have the coils so I don't know if you can see them there there they are right there so um, I wanted the coils hidden and I used my cinch machine my cinch machine my Heidi Swap cinch machine and um, I can show you this is the album cover all done up here but basically this is the album raw not anything done this is exactly the same size and this is the cover and then of course that's the inside and I haven't cinched it yet um, just have done the holes right now but so there you have it and that's how I create my uh, my little album here and this one I went crazy that was my December daily I'll probably go nuts with it too so here we go. Let's go inside the album. And on our front cover of our album is one of um, the digi stamps that I have my, from my whimsical little world. And this is Frankie's Girl. And Frankie's Girl, I did her all in the C family. Um, I did add a little bit, well, I added some BV04 around her face and her hair and her dress just to give the um, it gives it a touch of purple so it's kind of nice you know because it just wasn't black and white it just has this tone of purple in it and I really wanted that um, and then of course the main color is purple in the front cover just so it would definitely pick up the purple off of her um, so she was available she was available the first week of October she was our first digi stamp and she's sitting right here and she's I made it so that she was dimensional there so she's popping out at you the little bats were created from a friend of mine at a crop uh, she made them from some Stampin Up butterfly punches and she created the little bats uh, Justine had shown us how to make them and my friend Cheryl made them for me um, the ivy here or the leaves is from La La Land Crafts the posts are from La La Land Crafts as well and then some bling from my bling book um, and then the tag is just your typical shipping tag and I just use distress ink on it and then of course there's a few layers of paper here and then the stickers I used all from the paper packs and you know if you watch my videos you know that I purchase always the kits that way the kits come with all the papers all the stickers it has everything that I need I you know I don't have to spend too much money uh, buying uh, embellishments and things like that or at least for cards you know because the stickers I have and then of course I have the um, I can make cute little embellishments you'll see in in the album um, okay so the side of the book I left it plain because I wanted it I just really like the look of craft I like it um, if I can find a sticker cut a sticker I'll probably put one here just so it has a little label of a book but uh, so far I haven't come across it otherwise I like it as it is. I also have a couple of charms on here and it's 
what do they call this a plumber's link or something like that I don't know correct me if I'm wrong but what's great about these is that you can open them and you can add uh, charms to it so that's kind of cool now before I go into the album I just want to share with you the paper because I know you're probably wondering what paper did I use and the paper that I used is a combination of the arsenic and lace by details to enjoy and as you can see it comes with everything and this was the kit and then of course I use Authentic uh, Spirited Collection and I know at first glance it doesn't go together but it actually works really nice together so I was really happy about that but not happy because I used it all up it's all that's it there's no more of well there's little bits and pieces of it but I actually used it all <laughs> okay so that's what the paper is and stuff like that this really cool you know it's not a stamp back here the house it was uh, from the paper collection. Alright, so let's open her up and let's see what's inside. Now this book I think is super fun because it's really interactive and there's a lot of real estate here to put uh, images a um, lot of different sizes and shapes if you want. <laughs> so as soon as you open it up there is the front here is uh, blank. Now I am going to put this album up for sale on the Etsy shop at MWL Digi Shop. That's what it is. And you can, uh, I'm going to have the customization there in the description where if you want I can attach a waterfall just as I will show you what it, uh, the waterfall looks like in the back. Or we can have it blank, you can have it blank. Uh, there is no extra charge for it. It's just if you want it or not, it's not that hard for me to do it. Uh, but I just thought I'd leave it blank in case somebody wants to put a group photo or a family photo or something like that. Um, the front page again is also blank. Uh, again for some more photos, little or big, and then you have two cards that you can journal on as well as put some images on there. And we turn to the next page and then you get some more yummy paper. I didn't even want to touch this paper. It even has a texture to it. It's so, it's just, it's yummy. <laughs> okay, and here as you can see I used one of the stickers and I attached some cardstock to the back with a brad that way it would act as a placeholder too for this tag here and then behind here I made a little pocket with a combination of two papers and a die cut from uh, ooh, Simon Says Stamp I buy them from but I'm not sure I bet you it's Lawn Fawn because Lawn Fawn usually has the really cute little stuff like this so these tags I made from the cards that you get in the kits and so I make sure not to cut the paper and you know because some of sometimes they will give you some designer paper on the back so I made sure to put those aside because I really wanted to use the cards for the uh, for pictures or for journaling and in the back I did some cardstock I added some stickers and this is a sticker as well so that way it's matted all ready to go for some images and then it fits just perfectly in there and then back here again you can journal you can you can uh, attach some paper like glue some paper here and you can have for uh, journaling if you want it's totally up to you what you want to do you can even journal on the envelope if you want um, it's your album you would make it your own when we turn to the next page um, we have our little Frankie uh, digi stamp and he was just released um, last week yeah last week and I did my very first Periscope I uh, hope I said that right Periscope uh, video but I really bite at it <laughs> so I have to get really comfortable live talking to people and and also just watching what I'm doing and then saying hello <coughs> excuse me saying hello as people come into the room that's really confusing not that I get a lot of people uh, you know but uh, you have to have uh, be thinking about it so I uh, might try it again may not we'll see anywho for now I colored up I finished him up and I color I colored him up with my Copics and I also uh, only taped part of him on the side because I wanted him to act as a card holder for the cards for journaling or putting a picture and then of course here you can put some pictures and then of course in the back again same thing lots of room and then you get a little surprise back here I did not glue the bottom I left it as a pocket that way you would have more room to journal there and then <clears throat> the page that it sits on is blank that way you can um, journal or 
put your pictures. You will also receive a whole bunch of these cute little uh, paper clips that I made and they're nice and sturdy, nice and thick. And with the little um, ephemer, I guess you'd call it a firmer that comes with the packs, right? I created this little, um, like a placeholder, that way it would hold my cards. And I just added some tags. This tag here, I believe I received from one of my friends, Vicky. Um, Vicky gave me a whole bunch of cute little die tags that were so cute. So I'm finally getting to use them. Yay! And I also made this, uh, another little spot here to journal in to um, to put pictures and then I just added a little spider that I got from Michael's last year I think <clears throat> and then look at this yummy paper it is so with all the cameos so cute so I left that blank that way you could play with it and um, on this side here this is a cut from the Silhouette America store it's a card but what I did is I added pieces to it to get my own thing so I kind of it's a mini album within the card um, and that's this is what a lot of these makes what makes the book really thick so next time I'm going to make a book this thick because I only have the little coils I'm going to do the one inch <laughs> just enough with the little ones and I'm just going to go nuts and go with the one inch then I can play all I want Okay, so this card right here, mini album card that I attached onto here, I adjusted to my needs. Um, it has a magnet. And when you open it up, you get a little journaling card here <clears throat> on the back. And then some matting where you can put a lot of pictures, more journaling here. And then you flip it around and you have even more and then some place to put uh, some pictures here. So fun little piece there. And then you turn it around the next page or flip it to the next page. Some more journaling spots here or for pictures, totally up to you. On this side right here we have a, <coughs> a die cut. <clears throat> die cut, sorry, an envelope. See, I can't do two things at once. So, um, I didn't want to fold over the paper or anything like that because over time it's just, you know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to like it. I won't be happy. So what I had done was I just cut a bit of that paper with one of my funky little die cuts and then just have it like a flap over, which is kind of cool. So that was something different. And then of course I made it nice and thick so there's about a quarter inch on the envelope on the sides and on the bottom just to give some more room. That way I could stuff it with some more stuff and here's some more cards the blank I left them blank that way you could uh, journal on them if you want um, I'll probably go back with my favorite go-to stamp from Lawn Fawn at school rocks school rocks schoolhouse backboards it's backwards so I can't <laughs> I can't read backwards but it's my go-to stamp I love it and I also love this, just saying. Oh, and look what I found behind here. Some more cool stuff. Maybe I'll add some of this onto here. Oh, see, there's stuff hanging all over my my board here. I don't even know what's there. Anyhow, okay, so back to our album. <laughs> and so you have lots of spots here to, to put your pictures. And here's another cute little tag die cut that uh, Vicky had given me on the back. I put the stickers from the pack and that way they're nicely matted and you can put um, with a white gel pen you can write or you can add your pictures. Totally up to you. And then here we have um, this week's release and I can't remember his name and, she, and I just was on the internet and she, Fiki, my, one of my team members, she told me the name of our kitty cat and I can't remember it. Franken something or another. <laughs> you can hurt me, Fiki. That's okay. I'm having a dory moment. It just won't stick in my mind. I'm sorry, but this cat is mischievous and that's probably why I can't get it. So all I did was I colored him up in my Copics and I... After he was all colored up, I went with my tie, uh, tea dye ink and I just kind of uh, distressed it. I don't know if you can kind of see it. Just to make it look uh, 
you know, worn out. The same I did with the edging with the BV0, uh, BV01 and BV quadruple zeros. And then the colorless blender just to give it that messy and give it lots of texture on them. On the back I did some stickers. That way you could uh, use for uh, pictures. And you can even journal on the front of him here. I used to do that. I, well, I still do that. I'll draw a picture and then I'll write around the image. You know, um, so that's kind of something to do there. The album also comes with these cool overlays that you put on images. And as you can see, they just they stick onto the paper. If you wanted to glue them onto the image, then uh, what I've done is I've used glossy accent. Glossy accent will dry clear, not like your Tombow glue or anything like that. It just dries nice and clear, but it also sticks to the paper. Now here's another cut I got from the Silhouette uh, store, and it's an envelope, and I had to fix it up and size it up for the album. But it's basically an album or uh, an envelope to put all your things inside. And I attached the brad to it with a magnet that would stick it in place. Now here's another card I created, and why well, I didn't create it? Sorry, I cut it uh, from the Silhouette store, and then I uh, adjusted it for my needs for the album. So it opens up and it, well, it closes with the magnet. And then here you can see I stamped it with my go-to stamp for some lines. I made a little pocket here and then some um, some envelopes, or sorry, some tags. It's getting late. And these are just the, the cards that came in the paper kits. And then I just did the cardstock uh, on it just to give it a little bit more. And then I put some dots on it to make it look like it was stuck on there, you know, like poof, poof, the hammer and nail. And there we go. And then here's another overlay, super cute. These I believe are Tim Holtz, I got them at Michael's. A blank page for some more images and another overlay and blank page. Now this is really the fun part. This is, um, there's two types of waterfalls in this album. And this one is super fun. So it's basically a card and then inside is the waterfall. And so when you open it up, you have lots of room, lots of real estate for images in this album. And it finishes off with this little sticker, which I think is really adorable. Super cute. Okay. And with Justine's help, I was able to uh, fix this, um, this pull thing right here, this tab. I used... Oh, I can't find... Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, I can't find it. Um, I use this really cool uh, punch from Stampin' Up. It's just new. I got it. And Justine had shown me at a crop how to use it and create my own tags. So that's kind of cool. So that's my waterfall right there. That's the first waterfall. Then the very last page is just some extra spots here. I did some dots um, and there's supposed to be a bow there, there'll be a bow there, there will be a pretty bow right there and some extra room for pictures and whatnot and this is another waterfall right here and look at all that bright sun we had a rainy 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 day and now we get the sunshine I'm gonna block it Okay, I kind of blocked it there. All right, so this is the waterfall, the second waterfall for the album. And I, as you can see, I really bite at ribbons. But I tried, and then I had to hold it down with ribbon because it's really poofy. It's really poofy. So when you open it up, there's also some words here just for fun. And each one is matted down or matted. That way you can add your pictures. Oh, quickly, you can watch me make a fool of myself while I make a bow in you. i just horrible at this. Santa would not allow me in the workshop. Alright, and then of course here's the back of the cover. And I know the back of the cover looks really, really boring right now. But, there's a reason it looks really, really boring. Well, it says eek on it. 
and I used black cardstock for the shadow there and I cut it out my silhouette but the reason I left it this way is because this album is going up for sale on my Etsy shop MW MWLW Digi shop that's right on Etsy um, and so the reason I left it blank is because whoever purchases they have the option of having the family name or the child's name or children's name um, on the back here or the year whatever they would like and I will cut it out with my cameo and put it on here on the back so here's my Halloween album and look I'm done it's not even Halloween yet and I'm finished so I'm super super happy about that um, I had so much fun creating this album so much fun I can't I'm I'm sad that I have to stop <laughs> that's how much fun I had uh, it keeps me out of trouble and I had even more fun sharing it with you and walking you through it. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did I would love it if you'd give me the thumbs up. If you're not subscribing to my channel I hope that you will hit the subscribe button as well. And until next time, have a creative week!